zombies. Hazard level C, they spawn in the overworld. They have 10 hearts of health. They can deal anywhere from one and a half to 2.25 hearts of damage and their weakness is sunlight. Zombies only have two phases, wander and chase. Zombies can spawn anywhere in the overworld other than in mushroom fields or the deep dark. Zombies will only spawn on blocks with a light level of zero. If you don't know how light levels work, I briefly covered it in the AI behind creepers, but essentially all you need to know is that zombies will spawn in areas where there isn't any nearby light. In Bedrock Edition, zombies will only spawn in groups of one, however, in Java Edition, zombies have a chance of spawning in up to groups of four. Most of the time, if these chances hit, all zombies will spawn within 10 blocks of each other. Zombies can also spawn through monster spawners. The best way to prevent zombies from spawning through these is to simply place a torch on top. Zombies work based on a goal system. Zombies have a set of nine different goals. When you look at these goals individually, they are simple mechanics that tell the zombie what to do in specific situations. When you combine these mechanics, you'll see that they all work together to create two different phases. Goals one through four are in charge of the wander phase. When a zombie first spawns, it will immediately enter its wandering phase. While they're wandering, they'll occasionally make groaning sounds, which can be heard up to 16 blocks away. The system zombies use to wander around is very simple. They'll pretty much just choose a random block within a 10 by 7 chunk and walk to that block. Once the zombie reaches that block, it'll pause, then repeat. While in this phase, if a zombie comes within 6 blocks of a village, their move through village goal will activate. When this goal activates, the zombie will constantly pathfind to random POIs inside the village. This includes villager houses, workstations, bells, and various other structures. As you can see, when this goal is active, the zombie doesn't ever stop pathfinding. It's constantly moving around. It seems like the point of this goal is just so zombies can quickly find villagers to turn and kill. By pressing F3 and B, you can see the location of zombies' eyes highlighted in red. As you can see, both the zombies' eyes and player eyes are located on the head. The reason this is important is because zombies do not have a field of view, they use proximity awareness. In Java Edition, zombies have a proximity awareness of 35 blocks, which is over twice as big as creepers. The footage you're seeing is a bird's eye view of the zombies' proximity awareness, which is highlighted in green. These visuals are from Snysense custom mod which can highlight creeper vision and now zombie vision. Huge shout out to him for adding this feature. I also want to give a huge shout out to Nero once again for decompiling zombies and helping with various other parts of this video. He's created a documentation tab in the discord server where you can find more information on zombie AI that you cannot find anywhere else, link in the description. And finally, shout out to Napstamelon for being the first one to spot Herobrine in the creeper video. Comment down below if you find Herobrine in this video. As long as you're inside the zombie's proximity awareness and it can draw a straight line from its eyes to your eyes without any obstruction, it will enter phase two. As a little secret, if you're crouching, this lowers their proximity awareness to 80%, and if you're wearing a zombie head, this cuts their proximity awareness in half. Once a zombie enters phase two, it will begin chasing its target. When a zombie has a target, it will point its arms slightly up, indicating that it's in its chase phase. In this phase, zombies maintain their proximity awareness of 35 blocks, even if you're crouching or wearing a zombie head. The only way to get creepers out of this phase is to either run outside of their proximity awareness or break line of sight in which case the zombie will immediately return to phase one. Players move about four times as fast as zombies making it pretty easy to outrun zombies just by walking. Zombies will target players, villagers, iron golems, wandering traders, and baby turtles. Now in the creepers video I explained how you can have one player kite the creeper around while another player kills the creeper because creepers do not retarget. Zombies however are a little different. When a zombie locks onto a player it will not retarget unless it gets hit. This means that if your friend is being chased by a zombie, you can get as close to that zombie as you'd like without worrying about it hitting or targeting you. However, as soon as you hit the zombie, it will immediately retarget to you. This includes players, snow golems, witches, pretty much any mob that can hit a zombie. Now, the zombie can only retarget one time. For example, the zombie targets your friend. You hit the zombie, the zombie retargets to you. And now, even if your friend or another mob hits the zombie, it will not retarget. The only time it'll retarget is if this phase resets. What's really interesting about zombies is that they have a retaliation mechanic. When a zombie gets hit, a signal is sent to all other zombies within its proximity range, notifying them that it's been hit. All zombies that have been notified will target the player or mob that hit the zombie. In this clip, you can see there is a room full of zombies while I'm outside. One zombie spots me and begins chasing me. As soon as I hit that zombie, it notifies all the 
zombies inside this room to help. Even though those zombies never actually saw me, they all began chasing me because of their retaliation mechanic. Since they were all within the zombies proximity awareness, they were all notified that it got hit and all turned to target me. In hard mode, zombies have a reinforcement mechanic where they can spawn more zombies to help. Anytime a zombie is hit, there is a 1 to 10% chance of that zombie calling reinforcements. If that chance hits, another zombie will literally spawn in and head over to help. This request for reinforcements can be called up to 50 times by the same zombie. In hard mode, zombies also have a 3 to 5% chance of having the ability to break down doors. If a zombie does have that ability and targets a player or mob that's hiding behind a wooden door, it will walk up to the door and begin breaking it down. After 12 seconds, the door will break and the zombie will continue chasing. Zombies have 10 hearts, which normally would mean it takes 20 hits from your bare fist to kill, but zombies always spawn with two points of natural armor, which means it'll usually take about 22 hits. Zombies also spawn with up to 5% knockback resistance. Once they take damage, they will not regenerate on their own. Since zombies are an undead enemy, they'll take damage from potions of instant healing, and they'll heal from potions of instant damage. Since they're undead, this also means using a weapon with a smite enchantment will deal extra damage. Zombies will deal anywhere from 1.25 hearts to 2.25 hearts per hit, depending on the difficulty level. The best way to kill a zombie is to simply maintain a good distance while using critical hits until it's dead. Zombies' weakness is sunlight. 27 seconds before a new day, the sun will begin to burn any zombies that aren't protected. Since sunlight always comes from the top of the sky, this means that zombies will not burn if there's a block above them. If a zombie attacks a player while on fire, there's a chance they'll set that player on fire. Sunlight does half a heart of damage per hit, meaning it'll take about 20 seconds for a zombie to die directly from sunlight. Zombies will drop 5 XP and anywhere from 0 to 2 rotten flesh. With looting, zombies can drop up to 5 rotten flesh. You can eat rotten flesh, which will replenish 2 hunger bars, but there's an 80% chance of it inflicting the hunger status effect for 30 seconds which simply depletes your hunger faster than normal. You can also use rotten flesh to breed and heal tamed wolves and you can use it to make baby tamed wolves grow by 10% of the remaining time. Zombies also have a small chance of dropping iron ingots, carrots, and potatoes. As a fun fact, if the zombie is on fire and drops a potato, it will instead drop a baked potato. Zombies have up to a 5% chance of spawning as a leader zombie depending on the difficulty level. Leader zombies look and behave the same exact way as regular zombies. Leader zombies have three Three main differences. They are guaranteed to have the ability to break down doors, they can have anywhere from 1 to 4 times the health, and they have a 50 to 75% chance to call reinforcements when hit. Like I said before, they look and behave the same, which means there's no real way of telling if a zombie is a leader zombie. Zombies have three different variants, which are the husk, drowned, and zombie villager. When a zombie spawns in the desert, it has an 80% chance of spawning as a husk. Husks behave the same way as regular zombies, with a couple main differences. Depending on the difficulty level, when they hit you, they'll inflict the hunger effect for several seconds. They have a slightly bigger hitbox, and they do not burn in sunlight. Drowned zombies can spawn naturally underwater, or if a regular zombie drowns, it'll turn into a drown. They behave very similar to regular zombies, with the main difference being that they can swim and breathe underwater. During the day, drowned will always stay underneath the water unless a player jumps into the water, in which case they'll begin chasing that player. If that player leaves the water, the drowned will not chase, it will simply stay in the water. However, at night, drowned will swim up to search and chase players on land. Most drowned use melee attacks like regular zombies, but some spawn and attack with tridents. Zombies have a 5% chance of spawning as a zombie villager. When a zombie kills a villager, there's a chance that that villager will turn into a zombie villager, depending on the difficulty level. Zombie villagers behave the same way as regular zombies, just with a different look. You can cure a zombie villager by giving it the weakness effect, then giving it a golden apple. After 3-5 to five minutes, the zombie villager will convert back to a villager and offer discounted prices. When any zombie variant spawns, it has a 5% chance of being a baby zombie. Baby zombies have the same health, do the same damage, and behave the same as regular zombies. The only difference is that they're smaller, they run one and a half times faster, and they drop 12 XP when killed. Since they're smaller, they can fit through any one by one hole. Unlike most baby mobs, baby zombies never become adults. All zombie types have a chance to spawn with armor or tools, which also have the chance to be enchanted. The chances of these happening increase depending on the difficulty level. Zombies can spawn with a couple different combinations of armor. If they spawn with more than one piece of armor, the armor will all be the same type. For example, if a zombie spawns with a diamond helmet, the rest of its 
its armor will also be diamond. If a zombie is wearing a helmet or pumpkin, it will be protected from sunlight. However, if it's exposed to the sun, the helmet or pumpkin can wear out and eventually break. If you kill a zombie that's wearing armor or holding a weapon, there is an 8.5% chance it will drop with a random durability. Each level of looting increases this chance by 1%. Armored zombies will also drop extra XP depending on how many items they had. Zombies also have a chance of spawning with the ability to pick up loot. They'll pick up any weapons or armor they walk across, and if you kill them, they'll drop every item they picked up. Zombies can also pick up and use totems of undying. There's a small event called a zombie siege that has a 10% chance of happening if a player is near a village at midnight. If a zombie siege occurs, up to 20 zombies will spawn near the village. If a zombie has the ability to pick up items, you can give it different mob heads. On Halloween, zombies can spawn wearing a carved pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern. Zombies will target and destroy turtle eggs. There is a very small chance of baby zombies spawning as chicken jockeys. We are almost at 110,000 subscribers. You guys have been going crazy. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitch where I'm streaming Minecraft every single Monday, first link in the description.